Good morning, guys. So this week we've been working on that new um, pattern that we saw in syllables, that vowel, consonant, vowel pattern that we were breaking up. Because we got used to saying vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and splitting it down the consonants. But this week we've worked on that different pattern. So we're going to see what else we're going to do. All right, well, we're going to warm up by putting these words in alphabetical order. So remember, we sometimes we call alphabetical order um, ABC order. So remember, when we do it, work, put words in alphabetical order, we always start with that first letter, which is our guide letter. It guides us on where it's going to go, okay? So let's go ahead and sound these words out and try to decode them. And then that way we can figure out where it's going to go. So our first word, what do you see in it? Got that SL. Remember, we can blend that together and say soul. And then we've got that digraph EE, -E, which says E, and then the ending sound of P. So soul, E, P. Sleep. Very good. How about our next one? We've got Y and a U. I know it's going to be a short U because it's got that CK behind it. So Y, U, K, Yuck. So sleep and yuck. What do you notice right here? I've got that combination Q, U, which I know together is just going to say, Qua. And then look, this is a sight word, IT, so qua it, quit. Very good. How about right here? I see that IT at the end of it too. All I have to do is change the first sound to b, so b, it, bit. Very good. And then over here, look, I've got the O and the A together. And this is a vowel team we haven't talked about yet, but it follows our um, rule that we usually have for vowel teams where we say when two vowels go a walk in, the first one does the talking. So that OA says O, and you can't hear the A. So G oat, goat. So sleep, yuck, quit, bit, and goat. So remember, our first letter in the alphabet is the letter A. Do I have any words that start with the letter A? No. How about B? Yes, we have bit. Good job, C. D, no, E, F, no, how about G? Yes, we have goat. So, so far we have bit and goat in order. H, no, I, J, K, L, M, no, N, O, P, Q, yes, we have quit, quit, so bit, goat, and quit. How about R, S, yes, what was that first word? Sleep, good job, so bit, goat, quit, sleep, and so I know this one has to come um, last, and it also starts with the letter Y. Remember, Y is almost to all the way to the end. Our final letter in the alphabet is Z, and Y comes right before it. So, yuck. So, in order, it would be bit, goat, quit, sli sleep, and yuck. Very good. All right, we're just going to really quickly name our letter cards. Are you ready? So, we have digraph T H. Combination U R. Digraph E E. Combination E R. Trigraph I G H. Remember what's that dot mean? Vowel Y. A consonant E. Final syllable T L E. Digraph A Y. Final syllable P L E. U consonant E. E consonant E, final syllable D L E, digraph O W, O consonant E, combination O R, combination I R, combination A R, digraph A I, I consonant E. Final syllable, G-L-E, combination, Q-U, final syllable, B-L-E, digraph, C-H, Y, Q, V, 
final syllable. F L E. Very good. All right. So let's see if we can do some of our sound cards today, okay? Today we're going to hop around to see if you guys can get them out of order. Are you ready? So I'm going to hop right here first. What do you see? We have rain A. Digraph AI. Very good. How about this one right here? Horse or combination O R. Very good. How about this one? Butter er combination E R. Right over here, turtle er combination U R. Let's hop all the way down here. We have light I tri graph I G H. Very good. Remember, this is that tricky one. Circle sedilla C saw C. Good job. What if I hop right over here? Bow O. Digraph OW, very good. And let's hop down here. I've got quilt, qu, combination QU, very good. All right, so this week we learned how to divide words with the new pattern of that vowel, consonant, vowel. Today we're going to be trying some more of those words, okay? So let's look at this word right here. Hmm. Remember, what do I need to do first? I always look at the end to see if there's something like a suffix or a stable syllable that I need to code. So is there? There is. There's suffix ing. So I would have to code that ing first. So you can see I boxed off that ing. Now I just have my root word. So next, what do we do? We're going to find our vowels. And so my vowels are o and u. And I've got that C, that consonant in between. So vowel, consonant, vowel. So where do we break apart this wor word if we're following the rule that we've talked about for the rest of the week? We break it apart after the first vowel. Very good. So you can see we're going to break it apart after that first vowel. Now look at the first syllable. Okay. The O is at the end of the first syllable. Remember, we're going to act like that wall is right up. So we we don't look at anything on the other side. We're just looking at that first syllable. And so if it doesn't have any letter behind it and it doesn't have a consonant, it is open. So the O would make a long sound. So we have that long O. So if we, I was going to read this first syllable, I would say O, fo, very good. Now, what do you think about our middle syllable? What do you think? Well, it's got a U in front of an S, so that U is going to be short. So, K, us, fo, cuss. Very good. And then add the ing. Ing, focusing. Good job. Let's try this word. Are you ready? I've got my vowels. I've got U and I, and I've got a consonant in between it. So, I'm going to break it apart for that for, after that first vowel, okay? So now, look, the U doesn't have anything before the end of the syllable, right? So it's open. It doesn't have a consonant behind it. So I have to make it a long U with that background on top. So I have M, U, Mu. And then over here, what do you think is going to happen to this I? This is just like a CVC word, right? And I know that my CVC words always have a short vowel. So it'll be Mu, Ick. Music, very good. All right, so we're gonna practice what we just talked about by coding some more words. Code some words. So let's look at my first word. What do you notice about this word? It's got that Y at the end, that's right. But if I cover up that Y, it'd be fank. Is that a root word by itself? No, so I know that this Y is gonna act as a vowel. So I've got A is a vowel and Y is a vowel. And so N and C are consonant, so I'm going to break it apart right in between there. So now, you guys know this word. F-A-N is the word fan, but I know it's a CVC word, so I still need to go ahead and code it as a short A. And then over here, S E, fancy, so that vowel is, that Y is working it as a vowel because it has to be dotted. Now listen, fancy, 
it's got two syllables, so almost always that Y when it's two syllables is going to make the E sound. Remember, it usually says I when it's short and just one syllable, like dry, buy, my, try. Okay, so fancy. And then what do you notice about this word? It has that final syllable, G-L-E. So I'm going to put my bracket up so I form my wall. And then what else do I do to final syllables? I cross off that E because I don't hear it. It just says zul. Okay. And then over here, I have a U that's in front of a Z, a consonant. So I know it's going to be short. So I just have puz, puzzle, puzzle. So fancy puzzle. Very good. All right. Let's look at our next sentence. Are you ready? What do you notice here? My vowels are A and E, and it's got what in between? It's got a consonant. So it's that A consonant E. So when we have that A consonant E, remember the A is long and the E is silent. So I say, oh, there's one more thing before I sound it out. I almost forgot. I've got C. And now I know C can make two sounds. It can say k or s. This is C-A, okay? Remember, when C has A, O, or U behind it, it says the k, the K sound, its original sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that line so it looks kind of like a K so I know it makes the k sound. So I've got k, eight, Kate. How about this word? What do you see that we need to do? We always check the end first and it's got a suffix X. So I'm gonna box it off. What else do I have? I've got ING, but look, if I cover up all of ING, it just leaves S. So that cannot be a suffix. Plus I already have a suffix on there, but I know that N and G are a digraph. So I can underline them to go together. And I know I is always gonna be what? Short in front of it. So I have ings. Sings. Very good. Listen to that S at the end. Sings. It makes that z sound. Good job. All right. This is easy. P-O-P. C-V-C. So that O is going to be short. Kate sings pop. Pop. Ooh, what about right here? Where are my vowels in that word? I've got a U and an I and I've got a consonant between it. I don't have that double consonant in the middle. So where do I break it apart? I always, if it's vowel, consonant, vowel, I try to break it apart after that first vowel. Okay, so now my wall is up because it's a different part of the syllable. I've got a U that doesn't have anything behind it because remember my wall. So that U is going to be open and it's going to be long. So I've got M, U, Mu, and then I've got an I in front of a C, so it's going to be short, Ick, sick. So music, music. So Kate sings pop music. Very good. All right, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you. All right, now that we've coded some words, let's go ahead and practice making some words, okay? So we're going to be using a lot of those letter combinations and digraphs that we've been practicing, okay? So it's going to be a mix today. So, all right, are you ready? What if I pull these letters up and I want you to look, I've got A with the consonant and E behind it. So I know that this part of the word has to be eight, eight. So if I put that PL blend in front of it, it's gonna be pull eight, plate, very good. What if I change the blend in front of it to just an L, what do I have now? Late, very good. Okay, and then what if I change it to an R in front of it? Rate, very good. All right, I'm gonna change it just a little bit. I'm gonna take the A off and add an I. Now look, this part of the word, remember, still is I consonant E, so it would say ite, very good. So what if I change the beginning sound to a B and say, Bite, very good. Then what if I change the beginning sound to an S, what would it be? Sight, good job. 
All right, let's try a different pattern. What if I bring AI up here? Now remember, this is digraph AI, so it's going to make the A sound. It's a long A sound and a silent I, okay? So I've got this digraph AI up here. I'm gonna put P in front of it and an N behind it. What do I have? Pain, very good. Change the beginning sound to an M and you've got main, perfect. Change the beginning sound to an R and you've got rain, good job. And then what if I add a G at the beginning, which makes it that GR blend at the beginning. Then I've got grain, good job. Change the beginning to a T, now it's train, perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna put one more blend at the beginning. What if I pull PL up there? Then I've got plain. All right, you guys did an awesome job making words today. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull out our activity sheet so that we can practice what we learned today. All right, guys. So today we worked on that O consonant vowel and U consonant vowel con pattern where we saw that vowel consonant vowel where we learned that we do the same thing and divide it up after that first vowel when we see that vowel consonant vowel. So let's go ahead and work on some of those spelling sounds that we've been working on. All right, on number one, we're gonna do things a little bit different, okay? You're gonna tell me what you hear at the end of this word. So if I ha hear tumble, bull, what would I write down to spell at the end of that word, tumble? That's right, it would be the B-L-E because it has that bull sound at the end. Okay, this time you're gonna tell, write down the letter that makes the first sound that I say in the word, okay? So if I say April, what's the first sound I'm gonna spell? April. That's right, the A. Okay, what about the middle sound in torn? What do you hear in the middle? T orn. What makes that or sound? O R, perfect. All right, this time we're gonna do the beginning sound in scent. What makes that s sound? Oh, it sounds like S, but remember if it's got an E after it, it can actually be S or C. It's actually C, good job. All right, what's the ending sound? So at the end of after, after. How do I spell that er at the end of words? E-R, perfect. All right, on number six, what's the beginning sound in champion? How would I start that word? Ch, ch, C, H, good job. All right, what's the ending sound in flow? F, O. Hmm, if it ends in that O sound, am I just gonna write O? No, I need O, W, good job. All right, on number eight, how about the ending sound in st, A? That A sound, if I have A at the end of a word, I'm gonna write a Y, good job. And then nine, the ending sound in serve. Serve. V, v. If I have a V, what letter is that? A V, but can I end a word in a V? No, I need V E, good job. And then number 10, our last one, what is the ending sound in fox? Fox. That's right, the ending sound is. X, Fox, good job. All right, so now we're gonna practice spelling some words with that. The first word that we're gonna spell is from, from. So what do I hear in from? F, fr, fr. What makes that fr sound? F, R, very good. Now listen carefully on this one though. Fr, uh, uh, what do we think we hear? It sounds like a U, but it's not. It's actually an O and an M. So I'm gonna put a star by this word because this word does not follow the rule, okay? It's a sight word. Now the word R, R, what do you hear in R? I hear R, so it's that A-R, but I also need that E at the end too, A-R-E. Those are both sight words that we were just practicing. Okay, on number 13, we're gonna try to spell the word over, over. So what do you hear? O, 
I hear an O, very good then. V, 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 and then ER at the end of words. What two letters is usually ER at the end of words? E, R, very good. All right, what about bonus, bonus? B, 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 very good. O, O, N, N, U, U, and then the S, S, bonus. How about music? Music, mmm, you, that's right, you, then s, 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 i, 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 and then the k, k. Okay, remember k at the end can be several things, but listen, music has more than one syllable, so it's going to end in a c. All right, let's go ahead and code some of these words. The first word I have where are my vowels? I've got an O and I've got an E with the consonant in between it. So where am I going to break it apart? Right after the O, that's right. And so O is by itself, so it's going to be long. It doesn't have anything with them, so it's long. The E has an N, a consonant behind it, so it's going to be short. So my first syllable is just O and my second syllable is P, N. So O, Pen. Open. Very good. All right, where are my vowels on my next word? I've got an O, I've got an A, and I've got an E at the end. And I've got a consonant between that vowel and the vowel. So I'm going to break it apart after that first consonant. So my first syllable is just D, O. So the O has that wall up so it doesn't have anything behind it. So it's going to be open. So D, O. Do. And then over here, look, I've got A consonant E. So that means that A is going to be long and that E is going to be silent. So I've got N, eight, donate, donate, very good. All right, our next one, where are my vowels? I've got a U, I've got an I, and I've got a consonant in between it. So after that U, I'm going to break it apart after my first vowel. So now my first syllable just has T-U. So that U is going to be open because it doesn't have anything behind it. So it'll be T-U. Chu. And then over here I have an I in front of a P. So that I is going to be short. L-I-P. Tulip. Tulip. So open, donate, and tulip so far. All right, on number 19, what do we have to code? We've got a U and a Y. And then we've got a T in between it. So where am I going to break that apart? After the U, that's right. And so now I just have D-U. So that U should be open. D-U. Ju. And then I've got T and Y that acts as a vowel. So T-E. Do-T. Duty. Very good. Number 20, where are my vowels? A U and an I with a consonant in between it. Okay, so where am I going to break it apart? Right after the U, that's right. So now I'd have that U with nothing behind it, so it's open, so I have to put that macron on it. So P U, Pew, and then an I in front of an L, so it's going to be short. P Ill, Pew, Pill, Pupil. So open, donate, tulip, duty, and pupil. So which word matches that picture? Tulip, that's right. Tulip is a type of plant. All right, we're going to move it down a little bit and look at our first word. What do you notice about 21? I see ing, but look, if I box it off, what happens? W is by itself, so W is not a word by itself, so it cannot be a suffix. But I do see I, N, and G to where I can put it together, and the I is in front of the N, so it's going to be short. So when I sound it out, I can still think of that ing sound. I just have to add the W in front of it. Wa ing wing. Very good. All right, on 22, what do you notice? Remember, always check the end. I've got an S I need to box off first. And then what else do I have? I've got final syllable, D-L-E. So I put my bracket up, and then what else do I do to final syllables? The E is silent. And then what about the other two E's? That's right, I underline the E-E. One E is long, the other E is silent. So my first syllable just says N-E. 
needles. Needles, very good. So wing and needles. All right, on 23, what am I gonna code? All I have is that AR, so I'm gonna connect it and say yarn, yarn. All right, 24, where are my vowels? I, E with the consonant in between, so break it apart after that I. And since that I doesn't have anything behind it, it's gonna be long. So look at this C though. Remember C, I, C, Y, and C, E make what sound? S, S. That's right, so I need to add that little cedilla so I know that it sounds like a S. So S, I, Psi, and then over here I've got that E, R that I need to connect D, R, Psi, D, R. All right, and on the bottom, this one's really easy. I just have O consonant E. So that O is going to be long, and that E is going to be silent, and I would say R, O, B, R, O. So the words we read were wing, needles, yarn, cider, and robe. So which one matches the picture? The yarn. Very good. All right. So let's look at our story. Remember, we're going to go through and pick out the sight words, and you're going to be listening for us to find our answers, okay? It says... Mr. Smith, Smith has a pupil. A pupil means student. Jeff, Jeff, who makes robots. His robots can pick up trash. Trash. Jeff donates his robots on weekends to pick up trash at the what would that be? Zoo, very good. They pick up cups, cups, bowls, bowls, napkins, forks, forks, and even hot dogs. Jess, robots are super. So who is a pupil in Mr. Smith's class? Mr. Smith has a pupil, Jeff. So his name was Jeff, okay? What can Jeff's robots do? Let's see what it says. It says make pillows. Does he make pillows? No. Make hot dogs? No. Pick up trash? Yes, and if we need to check, remember we can say robots can pick up trash. It says it right there. What do Jeff's robots not pick up? Napkins, do they pick up napkins? Yes, and see this is the key word, not. Do they pick up Jeff? No, they don't pick up Jeff. And do they pick up hot dogs? Yes, and if we looked back here, remember it says they pick up napkins and hot dogs. It says it right there so we can check our answers too. All right, and then at the bottom, there's a couple words for you to practice down at the bottom. All right, guys, you did an awesome job. I'll see you tomorrow.